panzanella salad. When I was about 21, I spent a few months in Florence, Italy, which if you don't know is in Tuscany. I had the best time. place if you have not been to Italy you have to go the food is obviously amazing one of the iconic dishes of Tuscany is a panzanella salad stale bread and tomato salad it's sort of derived from Tuscan farmers trying to come up with a way to use stale bread and what they would do is take it in and soak it in water and then go to the garden and uh, they grab tomatoes and then whatever else they had and threw it all together into a salad. Now we're not going to throw it in water, we're going to sort of make it a little bit more flavorful, but essentially we're just going to make panzanella salad today the way that I like to. One of the main problems with panzanella salad that I want to solve is texture. It's usually soggy and I actually prefer texture, crunchiness in most things. I have about a uh, half day old bread. What I do is chop it into cubes, throw them into a pan, get them crispy in some olive oil and then that's going to provide some crunch and texture to the salad. And again, I stopped by the farmer's market. I got everything for this salad at the farmer's market. So this is just kind of an exercise of what you can do by going to the farmer's market alone and just how fresh and delicious it's going to make it. So I've got some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I'm going to give them a wash because they're a bit dirty. I'm just going to slice these guys in half. I got some nice Italian bread, which we're just going to cube up roughly and then fry in some oil. I've got curly parsley. Curly parsley doesn't get enough love. It's got nice kind of texture, I think, it's like kind of as a look. Fresh basil and some fresh oregano. I saw banana peppers and I figured that might be really good in this. So I think I'm just gonna cut them in half. I do like half moons, we'll see. Some fresh garlic, some red onion, I'm gonna slice thin. Cucumber, capers, to add a little brininess. Red wine vinegar I'm gonna use as the acidity. And when I lived in Italy, I ordered panzanella salad at, at this little cafe. And I remember asking for a side of Parmesan cheese. And the guy wouldn't give it to me. I get it, you know what I mean? I'm in Italy, I get it. But I was upset. And so just kind of as a, you know, a fangu to you, I'm gonna use shaved Parmesan cheese at the end. So what I wanna do is just dice up this bread. Make them a little smaller if you want. Whatever, it's just gonna be rustic. Next, I'm just gonna cut up all the vegetables and get them into a bowl and salt them so that they start to sort of leach out their juices and um, kind of create a pool that we're then going to, you know, season with our vinegar and kind of hope they all combine to make like a kind of juicy dressing and vinaigrette that's going to kind of be the base for the salad. I just want to slice it very thin. The top off. Keep that finger curled in. You can cut slices like that. You can also take the ends off and make slices like this. When you get to about halfway, push it over. And I'm just gonna use about half of that red onion. I just wanted to show you how to, you know, I just wanted to show you how to cut it a different way. Oh, onions. Now I want some cucumber. I don't need all of this, so I'm just gonna use probably that much. I'm gonna split it in half. 
I want to take just that line of seeds out. So you just sort of take a spoon. I'm going to do half moons with these as well. So whenever I use garlic raw, I like to grate it in rather than like chop it or dice it. I just feel like it kind of breaks it down a little bit more, gives it a better flavor for this type of use. All right, so I have all my vegetables in here now. I'm gonna give them a quick mix. It smells nice and fresh. I'm gonna add a little bit, like a handful of capers. Just gonna kind of break, smash them up a little bit, release some of their juice. I'm gonna add some salt. And that's gonna start to pull out all of those juices from everything. Some of the red wine vinegar. You wanna add like a quarter of a cup at least, because you know that you're gonna have bread soaking everything up. And you still want liquid remaining after the bread has kind of soaked everything up. Olive oil. All right, so we're just gonna let this sit, kind of marinate for a little bit. Then we're gonna go over and take care of toasting up the bread. So the bread has cooled down a little bit. I'm just gonna start to add it. A little more olive oil, a little bit more salt. I just picked a few leaves off of that basil. I'm just gonna rip them in. Take some oregano and just take individual leaves and just pluck them out. Not too many, because oregano is pretty strong and spicy. So just get that flavor kind of marinating throughout. Just eyeball it. That's about it. Same with parsley. Again, it's a rustic salad, right? So we don't care, we just throw it in. And then the fangul to the guy in Italy. doesn't seem like it would be as delicious as it is. It's like bread and some vegetables. It's crunchy. It's got some spice from those peppers. It's got differing contrasts. I shot a, did a, a photo shoot because it's kind of been sitting for a while. It's still crispy. It's really good. Again, the Italians nailed simplicity and this is it's an exercise in using what you have around you, making sure you don't waste anything. That's what this salad's all about. Thanks for watching again today, guys. Appreciate it. Just a heads up, I got two videos coming out on Thursday. One on my channel and one on Adrenaline Barbecue Company's channel. Make sure you go check it out on Thursday. Hope everyone had a nice weekend. And I'll see you on Thursday.